What's up guys, welcome back to the third episode of Cryptography at Gemology. In this week's video, we will introduce to you the Real Fence Cipher. The Real Fence Cipher is an easy to apply transposition cipher that jumbles up the order of the letters of a message in a quick, convenient way. It also has the security of a key to make it a little bit harder to break. The Real Fence Cipher works by writing your message on alternate line across the page and then reading off each line in turn. So, how does the Real Fan Cipher work? Don't worry, I'll explain it in a minute. Firstly, start by making a grid. The number of rows in the grid will be equivalent to the key, while the number of columns will be equivalent to the number of letters in the text. In this case, the key is 4 and there are 14 le letters. Therefore, there will be 4 rows and 14 columns in the grid. To decrypt, fill the first letter of the cipher text into the top left square of the same grid created previously. Then, place dashes downwards diagonally until you reach the last row. After that, place dashes upwards until the first row. Continue doing this until there are no longer any more columns to fill. Next, replace the dashes with letters from the cipher text row by row. Then, Read the completed grid diagonally to get the plain text. Now, let's take a look at a few examples. The, in the first example, the cipher text is shown above. As explained, the first step in decryption is to come out with the grid. In this case, the grid will have 5 rows and 15 columns. Next, place the first letter on the top left of the grid. Place dashes in a zigzag form from the top left of the grid. After that, replace the dashes with letters row by row, starting with the second letter of the cipher text. The completed grid will look like this. After that, read the message diagonally. Thus, the message for this example is decrypt this code. Need more examples? Here is the second example. In the second example, the cipher text is U E B N R A A L V K E. For this example, the grid will have 3 rows and 11 columns. As explained, first fill the first box with the first letter in the cipher text. Next, fill in the dashes, then replace the dashes with letters in the cipher text. The completed grid will look like this and therefore the plain text is unbreakable. 